Today we're learning how to use the DJI 4D. What's up guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new DJI Ronin 4D Flex. Now for full transparency, DJI did send out this unit and it also has allowed me to keep it. And because of that, I don't wanna do a formal review. Instead, what I wanna do is something a little bit more chill, call up a couple of my friends who are cinematographers, directors, have them test it out, get their impressions about this unit, but also let you guys know who this system is for. Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a Los Angeles based director of photography and we're gonna be testing out the Flex system on the DJI 4D, which is basically an extension that lets you take the sensor module and keep it separate from the body. Of course, it also takes the gimbal with it, but that way all of the processing happens, you know, on a heavier unit that you can mount elsewhere. It's kind of like DJI's answer to the Venice Rialto system or the Venice 2's Rialto system. Of course, just for a much smaller form factor, much smaller body. Now where the Ronin 40 Flex differs from the Sony Rialto is the fact that this has a built-in gimbal where the Sony Rialto doesn't. This also uses a LiDAR system where you're able to do autofocus and also tracking, which I find really cool. And you also have these multi-interface controllers where you're able to move the gimbal around, pull focus, have other different mode settings that you can adjust on the camera. And lastly, the price point. You can pick up this whole entire system, Ronin 4D and Flex for under $10,000, where the Sony Rialto system, you're gonna be pushing six figures. So you've been playing with this now for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And you have this Chuck E. Cheese smile. Yeah, okay. I mean, this thing's great. I, I definitely love a lot of the features of this. Obviously, who doesn't like playing with new gear? You know, it, it does have some kind of limitations to it or some things that I think might I, I may have wished were designed sure. a little bit different. But, you know, all in all, this is a really slick system. I like that it's all kind of very well thought out and how everything's placed. I like that you know, you almost have kind of this video game style controller <laughs> where you've got your record, you've got your focus, you've got, you know, your ability to, to re-angle the head, you know, everything's right here, mm. you know, right at your hands. And I think it works really well for just kind of like a single operator, you know, to be able to manage everything. Interestingly, because you can kind of track, you know, and it'll continue to follow someone, even if you are in front and it's looking back, you can almost do like a Steadicam Don Juan, you know, like where the Steadicam operator is walking and moving forwards, but the camera is looking backwards is, is what we call a Don Juan. And so you can do that, you know, here with this unit by just tracking, you know, relying on the track to kind of follow you. Or of course, I guess you could even operate it via joystick, but I think it's small enough right. and it's nimble enough to be able to walk forwards while looking backwards so you can get your steady cam Don Juan <laughs> shot. Now, the reason he's able to pull off a move like the Don Juan is because the majority of the weight has been relocated towards the back. So DJ partnered with PGY Tech to develop a system where you can anchor the Ronin 4D inside of a backpack. And what's really cool is that everything fits inside, so it also works as a travel bag. I think the whole entire design is actually pretty brilliant. Now, where I feel the 4D Flex system can be very beneficial is when you pair it in conjunction with other accessories like a monopod, a car mount, or even a jib. And what we wanted to do is test out the Flex using these tools to see the kind of shots that we can get. My name is Jonathan Masters and I'm a Los Angeles based director of photography. Some people might be wondering why we didn't put the entire camera system on there. Why do we need the flex system? Well, you've got to bring more weight with you. And so when you're loading your, your car, your van full of all your gear already, and you're now having to have a box full of really heavy weights, that's going to make a difference of how much gear you have to bring. And that's not really even the main thing here. I think the main reason that you would want to use something like this on, on a small jib like we have here is being able to place that body over the fulcrum and that allows you to place the monitor over the fulcrum. And what a lot of people don't realize, I've only tried to use this jib a couple of times, but it's been really difficult to make use of it because if you have the monitor placed at the back, then when you go up or down, you can't see it. And I've tried similar solutions, placing a monitor in the center and you know putting on a cartellini, but then it's hard mounted and I can't just easily rotate it. 
with the Ronin 4D, I was able to place the body at the fulcrum and that really nice five inch monitor that has just a friction arm on it. I can just grab and move the monitor anytime I need to reposition as I was going. And when you properly balance the jib, it really becomes like a one handed operation. So you can kind of have one hand on the monitor and one hand on the jib and you've got the ability to start and stop record, change your camera settings, activate your active track if that's what you're using. And in some situations here, I was able to get really great shots completely by myself. To be able to get these shots that we were able to do today would have normally required you have pretty long setup period for a gigantic piece of equipment. Jib is usually no small thing to have on set. They are very heavy, they're very hard to move around and you've got to have a specialized operator with specialized equipment. You know, you're talking $100,000 of equipment if you're hiring a jib that has a remote head. So to be able to have, you know, a sub thousand dollar piece of equipment that I slapped onto a tripod and then put this Ronin 4D on there that's, you know, under $10,000, you're at a fraction, you know, a tenth of the cost and you're getting very high-end looking shots. Now I realize that most people might not have access to a jib or even a car mount, but something a little bit more accessible that maybe you even own is a monopod, which still allows me to get some really cool high angle shots if I want to, or then maybe just turn this around and get some low angle shots, which if you try to do this with a gimbal, you'll end up like this guy. Now my buddy Sam who owns Virtual Media and specializes in vehicle cinematography uses the RS3 Pro in his workflow and I really wanted to get his opinion on the Ronin 40 Flex. So what we've done here is we have the iFootage monopod and we've kind of converted it into a little hi-hat and you said this is more comfortable, right? Yeah. Because like you could just let it go? Yeah, because you can like literally just lean it on your uh, hips and basically just, just relax. Have to work. Yeah. You don't otherwise, even have to work, huh? Yeah, otherwise Take if you the handles off bro and then we could just... <laughs> So and everybody can control it. <laughs> and it falls. But I mean, overall it's pretty... Give me your first impressions, what do you think? I like it, it's pretty uh, pretty comfortable. I mean, the backpack, you just gotta get used to it, knowing right. you know you have a pressure in your back. Because usually with the regular gimbal, you're more like, you know, kind of like front focused, like having your all your body weight right. forward to like make sure that you can hold it. Right. But this one is more of like, you gotta handle it in your back and then all you gotta do is just kind of like, get used to holding this with two hands, you know. I do like this, this little thing, a little contraption yeah. there. It's smarter, it's smart, it's just like, there you go, not have to worry about it. Okay, so here's something really strange that has me scratching my head. I've been using this now for a couple of hours and when you use the flex system, you lose the Z axis that the Ronin 4D is known for. But here's the thing, when you pair it with the monopod, you get some really smooth footage that it almost feels like you still are using the Z axis. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but is DJI doing something with the software that is keeping it smooth? I don't know, but it's pretty wild. And I just gotta keep it cool And I'll be treated like a tool So don't be acting like a, acting like a fool Look at you sobbing like a moon Tryna get everybody's cool Go ahead and drop it to the pool It might just be the time for you to Do better for yourself Do better for yourself So yeah, as you guys saw, the bicyclist ended up hitting the gimbal part and a piece broke off. Also, when it fell on the floor, it got scuffed up a little bit here. But anyway, I guess you can call this the unofficial durability test. Yeah, sorry DJI. Now I also invited my buddy Luis who has a lot of experience using a Ronin 4D. And I wanted to get his input on the flex system primarily because he's an owner operator of a Ronin 4D. 
Hey, how's it going? My name is uh, Luis Trujillo. I am a photographer and videographer here in Los Angeles. I am an owner of the Ronin 4D since uh, February of last year. Great camera, I want to say. It did have its ups and downs when I first got it, but now with the DJI team, they've been very close attention to our group and Facebook, and they've been taking care of all the bugs and fixes. Other than that, I mean, the camera is such a great experience. From a person that's been using the Komodo and the Area Lexus and everything like that, it's a camera that it's very unique to its project that you use it on. I just like the run and gun ability to be doing that because not all jobs require where I need a team and something like that. And I feel a lot comfortable just taking it in a backpack and I travel the world with it. And it's been a crazy year traveling with this camera where I was able to get into places where I couldn't and get very steady shots. I've done shots where I've taken it at the bazaars on the roof in Turkey. And that was such an amazing experience to let us be able to shoot up there. I was trying to remake the double seven scene where he's riding his motorcycle over the bazaar. And that was crazy to be able to do that and have a client monitor with me and everything in one backpack. Now with the DJI Flex, I'm able to do a lot of more things, but without the weights. I'd say for the this new system of DJI Flex, is for a person that wants to be able to have the flexibility to get into tight places and have an easier setup time when you're putting heavier lenses, like a shoulder rig or like on an interview or real estate people. It really benefits for those type of people. The run and gun shooter, you know, is practically the backbone of LA where we, uh, a lot of us just like to pick up and go and get ready to shoot, you know? So after using this now for a couple of days, I really like what DJI is doing with the Ronin 4D Flex. Now it's not perfect and there are a couple of quirks and I'll tell you something that really annoyed me is the placement of this cable. I wish it was located towards the back. To me, it just makes more sense. A lot of times when we were in under slung mode, you could actually see the cable in frame. So we had to kind of secure it in place. Also, because it's located towards the front when we use the car mount, I felt that just that little extra length, if we had it located towards the back, would have gone a long way. Speaking of length, I do wish that they offer different sizes and also that you can detach it. I really love what they do here where you can detach this cable and secure it and lock it into place. I feel like they could have done something similar. If you want six feet, eight feet, 10 feet, depending on your workflow, that would have been nice. But with that being said, I think that we all had a very positive experience. We all enjoyed using this. And I really like that DJI is pushing these innovative upgrades to a camera system that I personally enjoy. Now, I wanna know your thoughts. Do you guys see yourself using a 4D Flex? Do you guys like the idea of the Ronin 4D? Again, I'm a big fan, not because they gave me the camera, but even if you watch my original video, I've always liked the Ronin 4D. I think it's a very innovative camera and this just kind of adds that extra cherry on top. So anyhow, let me know your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios. <laughs>